Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much on all the love that you're showing on my recent videos. Today we are going to be reacting to the SAG Award nominations. This is a big one. I was thinking about last year and how it literally was an everything everywhere all at once sweep. It literally matched what the Oscars ended up being. So, I mean, it could always change. I'm not saying that it's gonna happen again this year, but you know, SAG has the most compatibility when it comes to the Oscar voting body. I am expecting some surprises here. There's those three, two final slots at the end where you're just like, anything can happen. So without further ado, woo, let's go. SAG award nominations, reaction. Those picture nominations, here we go. For outstanding performance by a female actor in a supporting role, Female supporting actress. Emily Blunt, okay. Oppenheimer, Danielle Brooks, okay. The Color of Purple, Penelope Cruz, Ferrari, Jodie Foster, Nyad, Divine Joy Randolph, The Holdovers. Uh, Wait! Male actor in a supporting Penelope Cruz made it? He Carol, made it. Killers of the Flower Moon. Okay. Robert Downey Jr. Oppenheimer. Ryan Gosling. Barbie. Oh. <laughs> feel pretty good. We can't even process, guys. We'll talk after. Okay, the nominees for outstanding performance by a female actor in a leading role are Annette Benning, Nyad, Lily Gladstone, Killers okay. of the Flower Moon. Okay. Margot Robbie. Okay. Barbie. Emma Stone. Poor <laughs> things. Hey, my you guys. I'm so, so sorry. Okay. I am. Yeah. Okay. We are going to talk. Outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role. The nominees are Bradley Cooper. Maestro. Okay. Coleman Pingo. Rustin. Paul Giamatti. The Holdovers. Killian Murphy. Oppenheimer, Jeffrey Wright, American. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and finally, okay. nominees for outstanding performance by a cast in a movie okay. picture. The cast are ensemble. American fiction. Okay. Barbie. Okay. <laughs> the color purple. Oh. Okay. The color. Killers of the Flower Moon. Mm -hmm. Oppenheimer. Isa, in three seconds, you were nominated twice. Okay, I'm turning them off. I no shade. I, they're done with the. Okay, that was it. I don't need to watch anything else. Girl. Okay, we're gonna talk, guys. But let's get into the uh, stunt ensemble. They didn't announce that, but it's on on social media. I got it. Uh, we got Barbie, Guardians of the Galaxy, Indiana Jones, John Wick, and Mission Impossible. I am surprised Barbie is in here. I did not expect Barbie to be in stunt ensemble, but hey, congratulate. They totally, totally love Barbie and Oppenheimer. They're like everywhere. Okay, let's let's start talking. Supporting actress, Emily Blunt. We knew she was gonna make it. Danielle Brooks, we knew it. I guess I should say me. Like these are my locks. Emily Blunt, Danielle Brooks, and Divine Joey Randolph. We were like we i keep saying we i was like for sure they're making it in the surprises okay not so much jody foster i feel like she was she, for me she was there like she could go in so she made it in the one i'm like not even on my possible or not even as a backup on my radar penelope cruz and ferrari she was amazing in the film not because it's not because of her performance that I didn't consider her. It's just she's hasn't been anywhere. She's she made it. Penelope Cruz for Ferrari. Congrats. I see it. I see it. I'm just shook because Rosamund Pike isn't here. I thought she would make it for Saltburn. Julianne Moore is not here for May December. I'm shook. Penelope Cruz made it in. She could make it into the Oscars. The Oscars do that too. They throw in one or two where they haven't shown up anywhere else. This is, this is, this is, woo, this is, this is. 
<laughs> this is that's all i'm gonna say let's keep going wait no no oh i just realized not me that oh america ferrera no that's us i would have been so happy if it was penelope and america ferrera sorry jody foster i gotta take you out of here Penelope and America would have made me so happy. We'd have been like, whoa, okay, SAG. I just, that just hit me right now. I was thinking of Barbie and I was like, wait, why isn't, Bar and I was like, America Ferrera is not here. She wasn't a lock, but I, in my head, I was like, she could make it. Oh no, oh no. So America Ferrera only has critics choice. Okay, supporting actor, Sterling K. Brown, American Fiction, Willem Dafoe, Poor Things, Robert De Niro, Killers of the Flower Moon, Robert Downey Jr., Oppenheimer, and Ryan Gosling. I had three for sure here. I had Robert Downey Jr., Robert De Niro, and Ryan Gosling. Those were my locks. Willem Dafoe made it, and Mark Ruffalo did it. And that's what I was like, oh. Mark Ruffalo made it in everywhere except here now. Like, he is not safe for the Oscar. And now we can, we need to consider a Willem Dafoe. Okay. And Sterling K. Brown, he made it in for the Golden Globes and the critics, but I just didn't have him, like, for sure for American fiction. I had Charles Melton. This is so sad. Charles Melton misses out on here and on the BAFTAs. Oh, God. I... I so wanted this for him, but he does not make it, and so does Mark Ruffalo. He, they, they both, they, they didn't make it. This is, I mean, Willem Dafoe is amazing in Poor Things. I'm not putting him down. I just didn't think he would be in here. And if he was, I for sure thought Mark would be here too. <sighs> Female actor in a leading role. This is the thing. I had, for my locks, I had Lily, Margot, and Emma. I didn't think Carrie Mulligan was safe, but she made it in. And then Annette Bening, I didn't have her at all. And she made it in. This one, I am like, listen to me. Where is Sandra Hewler? This is, this is big. Like big in a bad way for Sandra Hewler. Like, is she going to miss the Oscars? I'm shook. Sandra Hewler is not here. And you know who else is not here? Not that I had her as a lock, but I'm very sad. Greta Lee for Past Lives. Past Lives did not appear anywhere in this acts. I'm so sad past lives did. <sighs> I for sure I thought you know I thought ensemble for some reason but I I was like no Greta Lee has the biggest chance I would think and she's not here. She's not Natalie Portman not here. I felt like she was a toss up too but she's not here. Like I told you there were going to be some major misses, snubs, surprises. Actor in a leading role Bradley Cooper, not surprising. Paul, not surprising. Killian, not surprising. I had those as locks. With my two toss-ups, well, Coleman made it and Jeffrey Wright made it. Not surprising that they made it. It's just that you know who is not here? That is kind of like, uh, he's out. He's not a sure thing. Lily made it. Robert De Niro made it. But Leonardo DiCaprio, they said, no, you're not in this. Leo is out. Whoa. Leo, Leo is out. Leonardo DiCaprio is out for Killers of the Flower Moon. And the big award of the night, which is performance by a cast in a motion picture, American Fiction, Barbie, The Color Purple, Killers of the Flower Moon, and Oppenheimer. This is a pleasant surprise, The Color Purple. I was, with only Danielle Brooks making it in for a nomination, I did not think The Color Purple would be nominated for a cast, but it made it. Barbie and Oppenheimer, not surprising. They're like everywhere. They're the most nominated for the SAGs, tied each with four nominations. I still had hopes for past lives. It's not in here. Poor things. It's not in here. The holdovers is not in here. But anyway, what do you guys think? Barbie and Oppenheimer tied with the most nominations for each. Barbenheimer. It's it's a Barbenheimer night. Now I'll be making a prediction when the SAG awards are coming up. I'll make a video too on who I think will win. And like I did in my previous Golden Globe prediction. And like I did in my previous Golden Globe prediction video i'll do like who i think will win and who i think should or i would be pleasantly surprised if they won let me know what your reactions were to this Ugh. 
it's it's a lot of surprises thank you for watching guys thank you and until next time adios